Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, we are gonna be jarring some of these betters. Now, there are so many of these betters in this tank. It's unbelievable. I think there's like, probably like close to 300 of them in here. And these are from multiple different spawns. So there's been a spawn of some black samurais in here. There's some red dragons in here and there's some galaxy koi's I think. So there's a whole bunch of different types of betters and in today's video we're going to be taking some of the males out because some of the males in here have started to begin becoming a little bit territorial due to breeding and they've been starting to nip at each other's fins and also a lot of these fish now that's just a really overcrowded tank a lot of them have to come out to start to put on their real good colours and mature and I thought I might as well take you guys along we've done a video like this in the past and we'll take you guys along and show you some of the betters and the coolest ones that are in here and we're probably only going to be able to cup like 40 of these today and the way I like to do this is I use just normal cups like you would get from like a I don't know like a lemonade stand cup and these are just bio cups and the reason I use these is because these are biodegradable so once I take the betters to the stores which I that's where I sell them I sell them to stores once I go to the store the store will probably throw this cup out and this at least won't just stay in landfill for the next couple of million years and you know take up space in the world this will biodegrade and they cost the same so I don't see why you wouldn't do it. So what we're going to be doing is we'll take some of these out. I'll show you guys what they look like and hopefully this video turns out a little bit interesting. So I guess we'll have a look in here and you can see in here we've got all of our betters. We've got tons of different types in here. So you can see we've got some of the black samurais here and we've got some red dragons here and then some like blue marble or galaxy koi betters here. So the way you sex them is pretty easy. A lot of the time the male is going to be looking a lot more dominant. I'm not going to go into crazy depth, but if you want to have like an easy example here, this fish would be a female, that one right there. And then this one would be a male right here. So that's a male black samurai. And then if you're looking for like a female black samurai, that would be a female black samurai. Um, I'm not going to go into crazy depth because that's a whole nother topic on its own. So I guess we'll just start cupping these guys out and having a look. All right, so just to start here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to try and pick out my favorites. And when I do this, because these are all half moon per cut, so these aren't like half moons. I've done half moons in the past and they're a lot easier to do sex wise. These ones, the males and the females look quite similar. So you're probably going to get them 90% of the time right, but you'll have like 10% of them that will end up being females. But we're going to pick out our favorites and have a look. So I'm just going to start and show you guys some like of the best ones in here. now. If you guys are wondering, I do sell a lot of betters on my website. We're actually sold out at the moment, but a lot of these betters, the best ones, probably the 10 best will be sold on my website. So, oh, one bit me. They're very aggressive eaters, these ones. So this is our first one here. You can see this is a gorgeous blue marble um, half moon per cart male. Can you see that well? I don't really know what to say about this guy. He's probably gonna get a lot more of that white coming through, but his blue looks fantastic at the moment. So I just realized my face looks really weird in the better cup, so I'm going to try my best to stay out of it now. But that's our first one here, so I'll probably just make like a Congo line of uh, males over here, and then we'll start putting them over on our shelf. Alrighty. And then better number two. Maybe that one. Looks fantastic. Okay, so we've got our second better here. So this one here is a black samurai better. Now, I'm not like a massive better connoisseur, and I don't really know what I'm talking about most of the time because I just breed things that look cool. But this one here is definitely going to get longer fins. I had a beautiful male that I've actually moved on and sold, but I had a beautiful male that looked exactly like this one when I bought it. That black on the fish, those scales are going to get really, really dark as well and um, start to look really amazing. So I like to use really a lot. That's like one of my favorite words. I use that in all my videos. So now this one is going to be one of those betters that's, I don't know, it's going to be hard to get rid of because this is a galaxy koi here and you can see this is a very very young version of what this fish is going to look like it's got a lot of red and blue on it already it's got that like neon blue and as this one gets older a lot of that blue is going to stay like those specks on it that make it look like that galaxy kind of pattern and it's going to get a really nice red and start to turn into a magnificent looking fish now i think this one is a male if not it's still a good female and you'd want to cup it but i'm 90% sure that that would be a male. So, yeah, I'd be a male. So that's another great looking fish there. We're gonna look at all of these in a second and uh, pick out my favorites. But that's another great looking fish there. Okay, and there's another one here that looks fantastic as well. It's like this red one. I'm probably getting all these colors wrong. Well, come on. These ones are actually really bitey. 
like none of the other betters have had it bit me, but these ones, these ones are not, I'm not big fans of me. Well, they are big fans of me, but they are, are very hungry. So that's our next one here. Now this one, I'm not too sure how we got this one. This one might be actually from like either one of the black samurai spawns or one of the red dragon spawns and could be like one of the off throws of it. Nonetheless, it looks really cool. It's like that red hellboy kind of look, but you can see down the bottom here what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the bottom fin has been nipped a little bit. So that's just the males fighting each other. Now that'll grow back. That'll only probably take like two or three weeks to grow back. So when I keep these guys, a lot of people are gonna be like upset about it and people can think whatever they want but I wanna keep them in the cups for as short amount of time as possible. But sometimes like these fins need to really develop and grow quite a bit before they can be sold. So these could end up in the cups for probably two or three weeks and then they'll go to the shop and then they'll go into an aquarium within about a month. But we have to keep them in cups because first of all, I don't have enough space for a whole drip system. It's just not something I can do in this fish room. And these guys get water changes every single day and they get fed very, very well. They get fed blood worms and like a pelleted food and things like that. So. These guys are kept in very good conditions and aren't intended to be kept in cups for a very long time. So this is just part of their process of growing out. They have to be separated, otherwise they'll kill each other and it's also good for their development. But this one will probably have to be kept in the cup for about two or three weeks. I'm not too sure if I see anything that's different to what we've already got. Maybe one of these like baby blue ones. This one looks kind of cool. Now this is like a baby blue, blue marble looking one. That's very good at swimming away. I also don't like to use a net when I do this because I feel like the nets aren't as nice on their scales as like your hand. I'm very gentle with this, so. Yeah. There we go. Now this one's a really good looking one. This is just like one of our baby blue half nipper cuts. That'll probably become more of a dark blue, but keep that lighter blue underneath. Now this one's a little bit stressed out, so it's gone a little bit funny, but this one as well will grow out its fins. You can see the dark blue starting to form on it. Yeah, but I reckon I'll just keep going with this. We'll uh, fill up the shelf over on the other side of the fish room and uh, see what we got. Also, something I really quickly wanted to mention is that all of these bedders, a lot of people have been asking me this question. They've been asking for an update on the bedders that I was breeding in like previous videos. These are all the bedders that we bred in the vlog that I put up in the left hand corner. So this is from the original breeding bedders and tubs video. So you can see, this is how many betters we got, and this is what they all look like. So, pretty standard. I mean, you get the red dragons, you got the black samurais like I was talking about before, but you also get all the really cool in-between stuff from doing these projects, like this one that we were talking about before. So like that red is definitely not from anything that I bred. Like that's like, I didn't breed a fish that looked like that. So this would either be from like one of the red dragons or one of the black samurais, and we get cool things like that. So. We're actually gonna take these over the shelf on the other side of the fish room now. So excuse the mess, but this is the side of the fish room where we put them all. So you can see we've got some more of these half moons growing out. You've got like beautiful moo cows and stuff here. So we'll just start lining these guys up down here. And we'll finish lining all these guys up and I'll catch up with you guys after. Alrighty, so we just wrapped that up. You can see these shelves are a little bit unorganized at the moment. So I've got to sort that out, but you can see all of the bedders here. So we've got a lot of different types. We've got the Black Samurais, we've got some Koi's. These are actually Half Moons from last time. And then over here, we've got like one Red Dragon. So these Red Dragons actually take a little bit longer to sexually mature, or maybe they're a little bit uh, younger maybe. But we've got a lot of fantastic looking ones. So up here, I've selected out the six of my favorites in this batch. And uh, a lot of these have some work to do, like they've got a little bit of uh, maturing to do, but they'll turn out fantastic. So we'll look at these in a sec. You can see over here though, back in the tank, that there's just tons of these guys still in here. So we're actually gonna need to clear out quite a lot of these and make some space. Also, maybe on this bottom rack of the shelf, uh, you can see here, we've just got some like goodies here. So we've probably gotta clear out some of this to make space for these guys. There's still plenty of them, but anyways, I guess we'll start having a look at my favorites. Now give me a bit of lenience here because I am colorblind, so sometimes I will stuff up these colors because I just can't see them properly. But this is our first one here. Now this is one of my favorites simply because it doesn't look like anything that we originally bred. So this is like a red Hellboy looking one. And I'm sure that I'm gonna look at this video in about a month's time and think, wow, that fish does not look as colorful as it does now. And this fish will probably become a lot more red and you can see that on the bottom of its fins there. And they have been nipped a little bit but there's nothing that a little bit of time and some good nutrition and growth 
won't fix. Now, this is one of my favorites just because it doesn't look like anything that we did originally breed. So my guess is that it probably came from the Black Samurai spawn. Um, just because I mixed these up, I'm not really too sure which spawn it did come from. Leave it in the comments below if you did watch that original video, which spawn you think it came from. But this is our first one here and he looks fantastic. Now, second on the list is this young Galaxy Koi male as well. Now this one's got some red coming through, so that'll be the koi on this fish, but you can also see right there, it's got some of those galaxy scales coming through. So this is quite a drab fish right now. I mean, it's got some okay form. It's not the best form fish, like it doesn't have the perfect back or anything like that, but this one will become extremely colorful and will make a great pet for someone who wants to keep this in their planter tank or something like that. It'll just look fantastic. So this is gonna turn out quite good. That red's just gonna deepen and this is a cellophane base. So the other one before as well was a cellophane base. So it doesn't have like extremely amazing color, but it will darken up a bit and start to look stunning. And then my third favorite is this guy here. So this is like a blue marble half moon Picard and this one will become a little bit more marbled and that blue is just gonna deepen. So it's quite like a purpley looking blue. Well, just to my eyes at least, but I'm sure the colors on this fish will deepen into the future. You can see some of that lighter blue on the front of its head and it's got a little split on its tail, but that'll grow back. And that's just obviously because it's been nipped before. And I don't want you guys thinking that I do breed show quality bettas. That's not my job. I breed a lot of really cool looking bettas and what I find cool looking, but I don't breed for show at all. So these little things don't bother me at all. And these aren't gonna be for someone who wants to spend like $300 on a show better. These are just for people who wanna maybe buy a better for 20, 30 bucks, like a fancy better. And these guys aren't designed to be shown off in competitions all over the world. So those little minor defects don't bother me and they don't bother the common person. So a lot of the better fanatics on here are probably gonna go crazy, but this is my third pick. And then fourth is this guy. So this is a black samurai and I picked this guy out because he's probably one of the best black samurais that were in the bunch. Now he's probably gonna get quite a lot of that white platinum looking scales forming over the top of his head and creating more of a like a complete look, but his rails and his tail look fantastic and his black's just gonna deepen with age. So he's a fantastic looking male and he's gonna make a great pet for someone. He's probably got maybe two weeks before he's fantastic looking, but those fins down the bottom are just gonna grow, especially by himself, and uh, he's gonna turn out quite good looking. Now for second last, I'm not too sure what you would call this better, but this is just one that turned out to be quite cool looking and just has pretty much every single color from what we bred on it. So it's got some red on there, it's got some black, and it's even got some blue up on its top tail. I think that's like the, I'm not too sure what that tail is called. I'm seriously, I'm not really good at naming fish tails or anything like that. I'm not a massive scientist nerd guy. I just breed things together and see what happens. But this one looks fantastic as well. It's gonna get really, really deep red, I think. Or even if it doesn't and it just keeps that like slight red tinge, I'm sure someone's gonna be very, very happy to take this guy home. I really hope the black on the bottom of its tail that like bar stays through and it starts to look a lot more pronounced. But even if it doesn't, I'm sure this fish is gonna end up really cool. And I picked out this one just because of the fact that it looked so different to every other fish in that tank. And now for my last pick, I picked out this guy here and you guys are probably gonna be thinking, why'd you pick out this one? It looks so boring. But the reason I picked it out is just for that yellowish tinge on its skin and also the black barring around it. Now it's also got that rose tail, I'm pretty sure. It might not, but this fish, I'm gonna see what it turns out to be like because it's also got some little black dots on it and could start to look quite fantastic. So this is like kind of like a yellow hellboy, but clearly it's definitely not a yellow hellboy because I didn't breed the yellow hellboys in this spawn. But it could turn out to be quite interesting and yeah, he just caught my eye. So that's pretty much gonna be it for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these fish in here for the next couple of weeks, probably not even that long. Some of these guys like this fish up here will be ready to go within a week and these guys are gonna get fed daily. They're gonna get their daily water changes until they look like fish over here. So you can see this male here is definitely ready to go to his new home. And he's only been in here for a couple of weeks, but once they get to this stage, they're definitely ready to go and they get moved on to their new home. So I'm probably gonna add some little bits of Indian almond leaf to each one of these little uh, cups just to help with these guys changing their colors and to provide them the right environment for what they need to develop into really good looking, awesome, beautiful betters. So, Thank you so much for watching this video guys, I hope it was entertaining and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing basically the end of the project. These guys are all grown up now and we saw these guys from spawn all the way up to this stage and in a couple of weeks time they're going to be going to their new home. So thank you so much for watching this video guys and I'll see you in the next one.